Welcome back guys. Thanks again so much for stopping by at the channel. Today is gonna to be a very exciting day because we have the 2021 GMC Denali here in the driveway. The Dually, it is absolutely beautiful. I brought it on the channel months ago. We've been building this truck throughout the year and now that it's finally sort of done, we can finally start concentrating on the looks of this vehicle. So let's go ahead and get into it. So another beautiful day here in rainy Michigan. I have a ton of trucks in the driveway that I need to clear. This one right here, I just worked on last night. I just did a brake job on it. It's for a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine. But if you've been watching this channel for a while, we did a full budget build on this truck. So if you guys are interested, I will leave that link in the description. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on forward here to the Denali. I kind of have it under my awning right now. And if you missed out on the last video on the PPE manifolds, definitely check that out. That's the last video that I posted. Moving right along here. Here she is, isn't she a beaut? All right, I can't wait to get my hands on this thing. Let's go ahead and pull it in the garage right now and let's show you what we have. So these are my GMC Denali keys, the L5P Duramax. Let's start that right now. So you can hear. So that's what a diesel sounds like. Let's go ahead and fire up the 5.3 liter Tahoe gasser. You know, it's funny. A little bit louder, but it's funny because that thing is just about as loud as this gasser right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in the garage. It's wet. I gotta work on this here later on today anyways. So now that it's here in the garage, make sure you guys watch till the very end and see how all of this turns out. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a huge upgrade to the lighting on this brand new 2021 Denali. So after the lift kit, the wheels, the tires, this is a McGoy's nine inch lift kit on 37 inch tires on a set of fresh 24 inch American forces. A few videos ago, I just finished installing these rock lights. And then on top of that, my buddy Jake from four wheel buy in Chesaning, Michigan, they just installed the airbags in the back because once this lift kit was installed, it was actually squatting in the back. It was very interesting. But as you can see, these newer trucks have these marker lights on them and they're kind of hideous when you look at them. Maybe not, I don't know. If uh, you have an eye for that kind of thing, it may bother you. But we're gonna be doing something special with these GMC marker lights. We're actually gonna be installing Boost Auto Parts sequential smoked lights. And then we're also installing sequential switchbacks. In my opinion, as far as any GM truck on the market right now, this is the biggest, baddest thing. Uh, GMC 6.6 liter 2021. It's got every single bell and whistle that you can absolutely imagine. From the factory, this mirror does not come with turning signals on the tow mirrors. That's very interesting. Let me show you what we have here. This is the turning signals in the mirrors like we talked about. Also, I ordered the lower defrost mirrors, which they don't have. So we do have the smoked white sequential marker lights for the wheel wells. So we're gonna be removing the fenders in order to install those. I'll show you what I'm doing there. And then the really exciting thing are the smoke sequential marker lights. We're gonna be installing the smoked ones. In order for the sequential lights, what I mean by that is it sort of chases when it turns on. It looks really sweet when you turn your blinkers on. In order for that to happen, we do have to install this direct plug and play wiring harness. You have a left and right side. We definitely have a lot of wiring and zip ties to do, but I think at the end, it's gonna be very interesting. So stay tuned. Also really quick here, guys, if you missed out on the previous videos, we're running a giveaway. If you have not got your entries in, make sure you guys do for this 73 inch sumo series toolbox this thing is an absolute beast so for example if you go to the website pick up a shirt a key tag a decal something like that even diesel parts that i sell on the website you are automatically entered in to win but this toolbox is sweet look at that see how it latches right in you can't slam these drawers if you do win sp tools we'll be shipping a box just like this directly to your house color of choice and the most important thing about this giveaway is that we are giving back to an amazing organization to help out wounded and disabled veterans it's called the DAV the supplies are limited so definitely get your entries in and thank you guys so much for your support let's go ahead and get into this install man I'm so excited stay tuned first things first we have to remove this inner fender this is gonna require t15 all the way around what I'm gonna do since I have the rock light hooked up to this inner fender I gave it enough slack, so once I actually drop this inner fender down, it should rest right on the tire, so I don't have to pull the whole thing out. Just like that. And it gives us plenty of access to get back there in order to unscrew this marker light. So basically the easiest way to explain this is work yourself from one corner and kind of peel it back. And at the same time, you're gonna have to sort of pull back a little bit to remove some of this adhesive. But just be very careful, you can easily mess this up. But I gotta say, this is probably the worst part about the job, it sucks. All right, so we have these successfully removed. 
And what I did, guys, is I went ahead and just put all the clips right back inside of the fender flare. All I gotta do at this point is just clip it back on the body panel, and that's it. Go ahead and zip all this stuff off. You're gonna have to put new adhesive around here because you're not gonna want this stuff flapping around and scratching your paint. And voila, that's it. Pretty simple. Hardest part is just getting this adhesive off. But other than that, you're really at the home stretch. So I'll go ahead and get these off and let's go ahead and get this stuff plugged in. Guys, this literally takes like two minutes to remove these. I wish it was like that for the other side though. So here's the before and after, your GMC marker lights versus the Boost Auto Parts replacements. Looks pretty cool, man. These just have more of a sleek looking design to them. I'm really excited to see how these look in there. So let's go ahead and get these installed. With these marker lights being sequential, you will not be reusing this clip right here. So this will be secured out of the way and zip tied somewhere. What you're gonna actually have to do is get up underneath here and find the headlight clips, which are these guys right here. And you're actually gonna go ahead and disconnect them. So on the wiring harness, you're gonna have these two connectors. Go ahead and take the one without the red latch on it, disconnect it, and you're gonna plug it right in there and then slide that red tab right over. Take the other one and just plug it right back into the headlight. If you've done that, this will connect to your marker light and you're gonna go ahead and just feed it right through this hole right here. Like that, that's it. And we'll go ahead and screw everything up, secure all this with zip ties. The kit, they give you plenty of this wire right here, so we're gonna go ahead and run this to the frame, zip tie it, make it nice and neat and clean. We're gonna run this back to the bed through that fender liner and clip it to the other Boost Auto Parts marker light. So that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll go ahead and button everything up and show you guys what it all looks like. That's what it looks like when the hazards are on. That looks sweet. That's what I'm talking about when I say sequential. Look at that. It's kind of a chasing light. That's neat. And here is the other side. All right, let's go ahead and run all these wires to the frame and get this done. Alright, so on to the sketchy part of the job. These are a press fit design. If I break this, I'm gonna have to order one from Boost Auto Parts. So, alright, here we go. Wish me luck. Didn't break it. Woo! Always makes me nervous, guys. And as you guys can see, there is no lower defrost. The other one does. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side. And then here to the top glass. All right, didn't break it. There was a time when I did this on a 2007 Silverado and I busted the mirror. That wasn't very fun. There you have it guys. Just disconnect all the little wiring clips to it. You should be home free. that I have all those screws unlatched. I'm gonna go ahead and telescope out that mirror so I can get this shroud off. And that's that guys. So we gutted the entire mirror. Let's go ahead and put it back together and show you guys what it all looks like. So guys, check it out. I'll show you everything at the end of the video, but I wanted to show this to you before I pull the other mirror off, but watch this. So I have the four ways on right now. Look at that right there. And then look at the difference. This is the old style right here. I'm actually really pumped on how all this is actually turning out. This is pretty sweet. So let me finish up and then we'll go ahead and get to the uh, final reveal.
So guys, it's done. Wow, man, I am impressed on how all this turned out. It took me a while, it did. I'm not gonna say that this was a easy job. It was extremely time consuming. I think Boost Auto Parts made it pretty easy for you to be able to just plug and play everything. It, like I said, it just takes a while, especially running that wiring harness through the frame, making sure that it's nice and neat. Check it out, guys. So I have all the lights on right now, and the only one that really sticks out is this back one on the fender that needs to get smoked. But as you guys can see, we have them on right now. This is the switchbacks. Right now they're white. And if I was to turn the blinkers on or the four ways, they would turn amber and they would blink in a sequential order. And let me show you that really quick. So I think this is where it really pays you back. The lights are smoked. It really sets it off. It just changes everything. I don't know, maybe I should do this when it's a little darker outside, but I think you guys get the point. Look at that, isn't that cool? Wouldn't it be neat if a company came out with the same exact sequential type lights that go right on the door handles? That'd look pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Let me know in the comments. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody actually came out with that idea already. The thing that I'd like to point out here that I didn't talk about in the video, these right here are extremely hard to remove. Biggest reason for that is because of the adhesive. It's backed right in between the body panel and this plastic piece right here. Uh, removing this was very, very tough. And then of course, trying to pop the plastic screws out at the same time, it was not easy. But here in the very near future, we are gonna be paint matching this stuff. So I made it very simple. I didn't actually glue it back onto the body. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove those. We're also gonna remove that, the front fenders as well. I know I just tore apart the mirrors, but we are also gonna be paint matching the mirrors. And we're probably gonna go with the same exact color as the truck. I think it's gonna look really sharp. It's really gonna tie everything in. And also we wanna leave the chrome accents on there. So we're not gonna black out everything. It's gonna be like a glossy black and a chrome. It's gonna look pretty sweet. You know, every time I work on this truck here, it makes me wanna do something to this outward appearance anyways because like i said guys this right here is oh i haven't put my inner fenders back on sorry jumping all over the place but let me show you why a few videos ago i posted the unboxing of this me and the wife we unboxed all these parts this is a full high flow bundle kit from hsp diesel We're talking about a working cold air intake as well as the hot side and the cold side dyno proven numbers this will definitely gain horsepower and it's going to complement the ppe diesel high flow manifold up pipes down pipe all that stuff very nicely so i left the inner fenders out for now because man this, that's only going to take me about an hour to install those pipes are extremely easy to install it's basically all just bolt on plug and play very simple stuff but anyways i'm thinking about a leveling kit on this truck right here and possibly 33s. I don't want to get too crazy, but I do want your guys' opinion on that. Let me know in the comments. We're not going to do a nine inch lift kit on 37s on some American forces. That's just not in the budget for us here on the channel. But not only that, we have to pull campers, diesel trucks, stuff like that for my livelihood. So uh, I don't want to get too crazy with it. We need fuel economy. Nice looking truck, but nothing compared to that. <laughs> That looks amazing. So guys, huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts. I'd imagine not a lot of guys that are watching my video right now actually own one of these trucks right here, but if you do have a 19 plus GM truck and you have these style tow mirrors, I'll leave a link in the description from Boost Auto Parts just to help you guys out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have coupon codes or anything like that, but uh, this is a pretty cool tutorial on how to actually install these mirrors. But yeah, again, let me know in the comments if you wanna see some more future videos on this. Unfortunately, if I wanted to delete this truck, I couldn't. If I did do it, it wouldn't be on camera. <laughs> I've got to be extremely careful right now on what I'm documenting and posting all over the internet. Oh man, would I love to make an install video on how to delete an L5P Duramax. That would be sweet. And uh, I know a lot of guys are asking me that question. But guys, thank you so much for entering in for the toolbox giveaway that we're doing. Uh, it's really going to help out a good cause and good luck to everybody. I left that link in the description, truckmasterdiesel.com. Pick up a t-shirt, a key tag, a decal, something. Get entered in, guys, because uh, everything is just so limited right now. We don't have much stock left here on the website. That's it for this video today. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.